Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to another Ninjago video, Ninjago Top 5 video on the channel. Now, since last time I did Top 5 Worst Elements, why not do the opposite? Why not count down the Top 5 Best Elements in the entire show? Now, unlike the Worst Elements, these elements really make me go, Holy crap, they look so cool! And they are just eye-openers. They are a beauty to see, and I'll rank them from wor worst of the be best to the best of the best. So, with that being said, let's go on with today's video. Now, this one's kind of weird that I put it at this low, but number five, I put creation. Why did I put creation so low? Simply because it's not, it hasn't been used all that much in the show. It's, how much, any times has it been used? Like, five times? And no, I'm not counting the individual elements of creation. They ha I'm talking about the actual core, mix them together. So, the four times creation was used, and the whole woo when he used it. So, around five, six times. But whenever it is used, it looks marvelously gold. It is golden, it looks awesome, and uh, it's just a sight to behold. But then again, that's the same thing goes for all of these elements. I really wish creation was used a lot more in the show. Now at number four, we have time. Time is one of the most powerful elements ever in the entire show along with creation. Um, and there were two masters of it, Acronix and Crux. As we all know, Acronix is the better of the two, according to the fan base. And that's kind of the reason why I put it this low again. It's because Crux isn't really that good of a is really a meh character, which means it kind of affects the element. It makes me not like the element as much, simply because I don't like the user. Simply because I don't really care for the user. And um, that's my logic. Why would I care for the user if I, the element if I don't care about the user? But it has four main properties. It can speed up time, which is green. Slow it down, which is blue. Reverse it, which is yellow. And, or stop it all together, which is red. Now, they are in the Time Blades, which have seemed to be forgotten about as of, as of Sons of Garmadon and beyond. But, once we, if the Time Twins somehow do return, it will be awesome to see the element of time being brought up again. Number three. Now, the top three were the hardest ones to choose. I had such a hard time choosing these three because they all look so cool everything about them looked awesome but number three i chose lightning yes jay is the current master of lightning and the way he uses it is wow really cool lightning bolt shit out of your hands with no harm no harm no little burnt spot in your hands or your feet that's awesome because remember that gif that one of the new ninjago gifs he like blasted the lightning element out of his foot which yeah he blasted a lightning bolt out of his foot which is so cool that he is able to do that but there's only one reason why i put this at number three the previous master of lightning liber i think that's her name jay's mother i mean it was only a short time that we saw her but at least she could have used her element. We didn't see Liber use her element, which kind of makes me confused that who was the predecessor to UJ? Because if she didn't use it, then there's really no proof in her being the elemental master of lightning. At least that's my opinion. Because we didn't see it. That's my main problem with it, with the lightning, is that it just seems to start from J and go onwards. There really isn't a re predecessor, predecessor, predecessor. But that's just on me. Now, number two, we have number two, and you're kind of shocked that I did not pull this at number one. But number two, I have ice. Ice is just, oh my lord, is it cool. Literally and figuratively. Ding! But yeah, the current master elemental master of ice, my boy Zane, 
uses it so in so many different ways it's just amazing uses it in a shuriken uses it in its own hands and the new c11 poster look makes ice look even more amazing and even the previous elemental master of ice unlike the previous elemental master of Light lightning liver actually used it in this in the flashback battle against the crux and crux even if it did result in you know get beaten at least we did see it it looked cool and, but the only reason i kind of put this at two and not at one is simply because the whole fishy backstory of just passing it to anyone else like like why is that a thing? Like, it isn't clear on how the first master. It really isn't clear to me, anyways. All I really saw, heard was, uh, that former elemental master Vice took a liking to Zane and just gave him his powers, which that really isn't a good reason to give someone their powers just because you like them. They gotta have a reason, like a good reason. So, yeah, that's the only reason I did not put it at number one. But at number one, and this, and you're gonna love me when I put this at number one. But number one, I put Destruction. <laughs> Just kidding, that's, that's the wrong show. <laughs> that's the wrong show. <coughs> Sorry. But Destruction, the opposite of creation. Power to destroy. Basically, basically Ninjago's version of the Hakai thing from... Dragon Ball Super, uh, but yet the way Garmadon uses it is so mind-bogglingly good that I just can't get enough of it. He turns it into blades, energy blasts. He could do pretty much anything with with destruction, and that's what makes it cool. Because I love Garmadon, obviously, and that makes me love the element. But then we get to Omega. Now, a lot of people are thinking that I'm going to hate Omega, hate the element because Omega not having a backstory. Actually, no. It actually makes me like the element even more simply because Omega is so intimidating and so scary looking that it makes up for having no backstory, no backstory, no motive to why he's doing this. He's just so scary looking that his destruction to summon other Onis is just, oh my gosh. I want to see destruction a lot more. I want to see everything to come with destruction. But those are my top five best elements in the entire show. Now, what are your top five best elements in the entire show? Oh, tell me in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Bye bye.